video on how to commission a Jace. Now the default IP of a Jace is 192.168.1.12. You need the last number to complete this of the serial number, which are pointed by the red arrows here on the Jace, on the left hand side, which you can find by removing its cover, and the box the Jace comes in, which is a different number for it's a different Jace on the right hand side. So once you know that number, you would then have to take note of the QNX number. This is now pointed out with the green arrow. You use this to get your Jace license. Take note or take a photo and send it through to your Jace provider who will license it for you. I'll go over to the Niagara system here. I will punch in the IP address. I'll go to File, Open, Platform. Now my serial number of this Jace ended in a nine, so I'll go 192.168.1.129. Open. The default password is all lowercase, which is Tridium, password being Niagara. Again, all lowercase. Okay, you can see we've now entered a platform. On the left hand side, we just expand, tick, right click, go down to Commission and Wizard. Won't need to change anything on this page. Again, tick there again install these licenses. Now if I couldn't have no access to the internet with my laptop I can actually get the provider to send us the license and click one of these I would click this and hit add and we'll actually be able to find it on our computer but as in this case I'll just click this box here it's automatically because I'm on the internet go out and get our license for us click next tick install these certificates UI runtime is automatically ticked now please make sure that is ticked that middle one UI plus runtime and I'm just going to choose whatever station I actually need to suit the JSON I'm actually programming. This will go through the process of figuring out what dependencies it needs. That means what software it already needs with the software you're about to download to it. As you see, it says it's installed required by station. But you can add more. I'm just going to tick this box because I might need this later on. Click Next. This will load the firmware. This is where I will change the IP address to suit my job. I will put which is my default gateway in here. My new IP address. And I am also going to enable the second Ethernet port on the JACE. Ticking this, putting an IP address which is outside the range of my one that's on my primary port. You need to be completely out the range of that, otherwise it won't work. The Jays will stop communicating. Next, you'll be asked and prompted to change the password, which you have to, and I would say you must do this, especially if your Jays is going out on the net for security purposes. Please make note of what you make this part, username and password, both can be changed. If you do forget this, there are ways of getting it back, but it's a little bit of work, so it's always best just to take notes. Just a brief summary of what's about to happen with the software and the station the software is about to put on, and finish. And that concludes the commission of a chase. I hope this video has been helpful for you.